Are you tired of being stuck in the slow lane while other car owners zoom past you with their shiny new engines? Well, buckle up because Honda just unveiled a groundbreaking new engine that's about to change the game. Get ready to rev your engines and dive into the exciting world of Honda's latest innovation. Ladies and gentlemen, gearheads, and car enthusiasts, welcome to an exhilarating journey into the future of automotive engineering. In this video from Car Computer Exchange, we are here to talk about Honda's jaw-dropping new V6 engine codenamed J35Y8. And trust us, it's not your average engine upgrade. Ah, the infamous VTEC system. It's like the secret sauce that gives Honda engines that extra oomph and makes car enthusiasts weak in the knees. But what exactly is VTEC and why does it have such a cult following? Buckle up, my friend, because we're about to dive into the world of high revving excitement and unveil the magic behind Honda's VTEC system. Picture this, you're cruising down the highway, and suddenly, you feel the need for speed. That's where VTEC steps in, ready to unleash its power. VTEC stands for Variable Valve Timing and Lift Electronic Control, and it's like having two engines in one. It's a technological marvel that optimizes engine efficiency and performance at different RPMs, giving you the best of both worlds. So how does VTEC work its magic? Well, imagine a set of rocker arms with two personalities, one for low RPMs and one for high RPMs. At lower revs, the VTEC system keeps things calm and efficient by operating on a single cam profile. It's like sipping your morning coffee, conserving fuel, and gliding along the road effortlessly. But when you decide to unleash the beast and push the engine to higher RPMs, that's when the real fun begins. VTEC kicks into action, engaging a second set of rocker arms that unleash a whole new level of power. It's like switching gears from your morning jog to an all-out sprint. The dual cam profiles take over, allowing for larger valve openings and increased airflow into the engine. This surge of power translates into exhilarating acceleration and grin-inducing driving experience. Now, let's talk about the benefits of this engineering wizardry. At higher RPMs, the VTEC system optimizes valve lift and duration, maximizing the engine's breathing capability. This means more air and fuel can flow into the combustion chambers, resulting in increased power output. It's like giving your engine a lungful of fresh air and making it scream with joy. But wait! There's more! VTEC doesn't just excel in high-performance situations. It also knows how to be a good citizen on the road. At lower RPMs, the system switches to a more conservative cam profile, optimizing fuel consumption and promoting efficiency. It's like your car transforming into a fuel-sipping, eco-conscious companion, saving you money at the pump and reducing emissions. But guess what? In a plot twist that caught many by surprise, Honda decided to leave the VTEC system out of their new V6 engine, the J35Y8. <gasps> Instead, Honda introduced a dual overhead cam or DOHC design for their latest 3.5 liter V6 engine, which powers the new pilot and marks the first naturally aspirated DOHC V6 in any Honda or Acura since the first generation NSX. This new V6, codenamed J35Y8, brings some exciting changes. It features an additional camshaft for each bank, a departure from the single overhead cam or SOHC design found in previous naturally aspirated V6 engines. The bore, stroke, compression ratio, and displacement remain the same, but the compact DOHC heads from the turbocharged Type S variants of the Acura TLX and MDX are incorporated, shrinking the head height by 1.2 inches. Despite the absence of the VTEC, the J35Y8 engine delivers improved performance. Peak power is up by 5 horsepower to 285 horsepower at 6,100 RPM, while peak torque holds steady at 262 pound-feet at 5,000 RPM. 
the engine achieved significantly cleaner emissions, with some pollutants reduced by 40 to 50 percent, ensuring compliance with regulations until at least 2030. The introduction of hydraulic lifters eliminates the need for valve lash adjustments, and the engine continues to use a timing belt with a 100,000 mile replacement interval. So, while it may be a surprise to see the VTEC system missing in action, it's all for a good cause. Honda's decision to focus on emissions reduction and comply with regulations has paved the way for a new era of cleaner, more efficient engines. And let's not forget, innovation doesn't stop here. Who knows what Honda has up their sleeves for future engines? We can only wait and see what's in store for us. Hey there, gearheads! We've been exploring the ins and outs of Honda's impressive J35Y8 engine. But before we shift into high gear, let me ask you this. Are you ready to unleash your inner speed demon? Or are you more of a slow and steady driver? Drop a comment below and let us know your driving style as we continue our journey through the world of this game-changing engine. Now. Before we rev our engines, let's address the elephant in the garage. Some Honda aficionados have expressed their disappointment when it comes to the performance gains of the J35Y8 compared to the iconic VTEC engines of the past. But fear not, the J35Y8 isn't aiming to break speed records or shatter the sound barrier. It's here to bridge the gap until Honda electrifies its lineup or develops new EVs. Consider it a pit stop on the road to an electric future. But why should we care about this new engine if it's not a speed demon? Well, my friends, let's talk about the bigger picture. Honda and Toyota have been locked in a friendly rivalry for decades, pushing each other to new heights of innovation. This competition is what keeps the car industry evolving and ensures we, the consumers, reap the benefits. Honda's J35Y8 is a testament to this competitive spirit. While it may not outshine its VTEC predecessors, it represents Honda's dedication to pushing boundaries and exploring new technologies. It's a glimpse into the ongoing battle between Honda and Toyota, where each strives to outdo the other with every new release. Now, you might be wondering, why is competition so important for innovation? Well, my friend, when automakers engage in healthy rivalries, they're forced to constantly up their game. They invest in research, experiment with new concepts, and strive to deliver groundbreaking advancements. And who benefits from all this? That's right, you and me, the car enthusiasts who yearn for the thrill of progress. So, even if the J35Y8 may not blow your socks off in terms of sheer horsepower, Remember that it's a part of a much larger race towards the future of automotive engineering. It's a stepping stone towards electrification and a reminder that innovation doesn't happen overnight. But hey, let's not dismiss the J35Y8 just yet. It may surprise us in ways we least expect. After all, Honda has a knack for defying expectations and delivering delightful surprises. So buckle up and keep an open mind as we embark on this journey together. Honda's new engine might not be the flashiest, but it's a piece of the puzzle that keeps the car industry moving forward. The J35Y8 engine, Honda's latest marvel, has car enthusiasts eagerly anticipating its performance. Let's take a closer look at the pros and cons of this groundbreaking power plan. On the positive side, the J35Y8 boasts powerhouse performance with its V6 configuration and dual overhead camshafts. It delivers impressive power and torque, making acceleration and highway merges a breeze. Additionally, this engine maintains Honda's reputation for fuel efficiency, striking a balance between power and economy. It also incorporates improved combustion efficiency and emission control systems, reducing its environmental impact. Moreover, Honda's reliability shines through in the J35Y8, with meticulous engineering and high-quality components ensuring a smooth and worry-free driving experience. However, there are a few drawbacks to consider. 
One notable disadvantage is the absence of Honda's iconic VTEC system, which some driving enthusiasts might miss for its distinctive performance characteristics. Additionally, as a relatively new engine, the J3 5.8 may have limited aftermarket support in terms of available parts and upgrades compared to more established models. Furthermore, its cutting-edge technology and advanced features may come at a higher cost, making it less accessible for budget-conscious buyers. In conclusion, the J3 5Y8 offers remarkable power, fuel efficiency, reduced emissions, and reliability. It has its downsides, such as the absence of VTEC, limited aftermarket support, and potentially higher costs. Ultimately, choosing this engine depends on individual preferences, driving style, and budget considerations. Honda's commitment to innovation and engineering excellence shines through in the J35Y8, making it an enticing option for those seeking an exhilarating and efficient driving experience. Before we wrap up this deep dive into Honda's groundbreaking J35Y8 engine, make sure you don't miss out on any future automotive adventures. Hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications so you never miss a video from our channel, Car Computer Exchange. Whether you're a car enthusiast, a DIY mechanic, or simply enjoy staying up to date with the latest automotive innovations, our channel is here to fuel your passion. Thanks for joining us today, and remember to keep those engines roaring.